Now for something completely different. As I know the words, prone is palm down and supine is palm up. And you can have fun with this to decide whether I'm turning my palm and now I'm pronating or I'm supinating with the wrist or perhaps I'm doing it from the shoulder which I think coincidentally is why it's called a rotator cuff and not the pronator cuff but I want to show you a camera angle from a ladder that shows that perhaps we never pronate when we serve and it might even be that using that word and thinking that thought has made serving even harder than it already is watch this so we're up a ladder looking through the sweet spot of a racket and from this angle we're looking through the net meaning if you served in a straight line from the sweet spot to the service line you'd hit the net so I'm trying to prove that you have to hit up on the serve and now we're gonna see examples of this at a regular speed it's very hard to see the action but this is an up and across action notice the ball reaches the back fence on one bounce but now I want to look at this in much slower motion and we'll stop action on the second one. This is an up and across action. And now we're going to do it another time and now we're going to look in really slow motion. And I'm going to show you another way to think about pronation even though I truly do not like that word. So here we go. Toss is up in the air. Racket starts to approach the ball. Racket's about to hit the ball and stop. One more click. And what you see is that arm has turned across the ball. Let's go back one more time, one more click back, and one more click through. Now leave it there. One more. And what happens is there is another definition for pronation, and that is if you're reaching up and turn your palm out, that is pronation. So if you're reaching up for a light bulb, to unscrew it, you'd turn your arm or, using this language, pronate. But I would tell you if you ask 10 people what pronation is, they call it turning the palm down, not turning the palm up and out. And I think therein lies the darn difficulty of serving. Can you learn to hit this ball up and out, rotating your arm, swiveling your arm? It is pronation but it's really not the common usage of the term. And I think so much of this game is how we describe it and how we think about it. And if you can get your mind around simpler ways to do things, the results become simpler, easier, and you have a lot more fun. Stay with us.